I want to share my thoughts on the Black Plus Decker Digital Microwave Oven. If you're looking for a straightforward microwave, easy to use, and won't take up too much space, this one might be worth considering. It's compact and designed for everyday tasks like reheating leftovers, cooking quick snacks, or defrosting food. Design and size. This microwave has a sleek, stainless steel exterior, which gives it a nice, clean look. It's not overly flashy or complicated, and I appreciate that. It blends well with most kitchen styles, so you won't have to worry about it clashing with your decor. This microwave has a 0.7 cubic foot capacity. It's big enough to hold a standard dinner plate, which is super handy. You can easily reheat a meal or pop in a bowl of popcorn without any issues. The dimensions are 17.3 inches wide, 13 inches deep, and 10.2 inches high. So, it's pretty compact, making it a great choice for smaller kitchens, apartments, or even dorm rooms. Features Overview One of the standout aspects is its pre-programmed buttons. You've got options for popcorn, potatoes, pizza, frozen vegetables, beverages, and even a whole dinner plate. These buttons are convenient because they take the guesswork out of cooking. Just press a button, and the microwave does the rest. Another cool feature is the 10 power levels. This lets you adjust the microwave's intensity, which is useful for different tasks. If you're reheating something that doesn't need to be super hot right away, you can set it to a lower power level. Or, if you want to heat something quickly, you can crank it up to a higher setting. It's nice to have that flexibility. The control panel. It's designed to be user-friendly, and I think it delivers on that front. The buttons are clearly labeled, and the large LED display is easy to read. You won't be squinting or guessing what each button does. There's also a clock function and a countdown timer on the display. You can keep track of time easily, which is helpful when you're waiting for your food to heat up. Plus, there's a 30-second express cooking option. If you just need a quick boost of time, you can press that button, and it'll start cooking for 30 seconds without you having to input anything else. Performance Reheating and cooking. In my experience, it works pretty well for everyday tasks. But since it has 700 watts of power, you might notice it's not as quick as some higher wattage models. If you're used to microwaves with 1000 watts or more, this might take a little getting used to. For reheating leftovers, it does a solid job. I've used it to heat pizza and pasta, and it gets the job done without drying out the food. Just keep in mind that you may need to add a bit of extra time compared to what's on the packaging if you're used to a more powerful microwave. Pros and cons recap. To sum things up, let's break down some pros and cons. Pros. One compact size. It fits nicely in small kitchens and doesn't take up too much counter space. Two user-friendly controls. The buttons are clear and the display is easy to read. Three convenient pre-programmed buttons. They save time and make cooking easier. 4. Child Safety Lock, a great feature for families with kids. 5. Express Cooking Option, quick and handy for those little last-minute needs. Cons. 1. Lower Power, 700 watts heat takes longer than higher wattage models. 2. Basic Features, no advanced options like convection or grilling. 3. Adjustable Cooking Times, you may need to tweak timings based on wattage differences. For presets, might not be perfect, they're convenient but you may have to adjust for some foods. Final thoughts. In conclusion, the Black Plus Decker Digital Microwave Oven is a practical choice for those who want a simple, reliable microwave for everyday tasks. It's user-friendly, compact, and does the job well for reheating, cooking, and defrosting. Overall, it's a solid option if you're looking for a basic microwave that won't take up too much space or time in your life. I've been using the Sharp Medium Duty Microwave for a while now, and here's what I think. The microwave is easy to use. It has a simple dial timer that lets you set the time anywhere from 10 seconds to 6 minutes. I like that there are LED lights to show when it's working, so I don't have to stand right by it to know. It's straightforward, which is nice when I'm in a rush. The inside is big enough to fit most of what I need. I've put in a large platter and some pre-packaged meals, and there's plenty of room. It even fits a half-size pan, which I wasn't expecting. It's a good size for a commercial microwave, but not too bulky. One feature I find useful is the auto-cancel timer. If I open the door while it's still cooking, the time resets, saving energy and preventing the parts from wearing out too quickly. 
It's small, but it makes a difference when using it often. The microwave is also easy to clean. The stainless steel inside and outside wipe down easily, which is great when things get messy. There's also a little guide above the timer that shows how long it takes to heat different foods, which I found handy. It's a solid microwave that gets the job done without any fuss. The Breville Microwave Oven is an appliance that combines multiple cooking functions into one. I've had the chance to use it for a while, and I want to share my experience with it. To start, this microwave is more than just a typical microwave. It's also an air fryer and convection oven. I found that useful because I didn't need separate appliances for different tasks. I could do everything in one place, which was convenient. When I first heard about the air frying feature, I wondered how it would perform. I've seen standalone air fryers, but this one is built into a microwave. So, I tried making french fries using the air fry function. I wasn't sure what to expect, but the fries came out nice and crispy. They weren't the same as deep fried fries, but they were crispy enough for me. It felt like a healthier way to enjoy fries without using a lot of oil, which I liked. I've also tried air frying chicken wings, and they turned out pretty well too. The skin got crispy while the inside stayed juicy, so I think this feature works well. The convection oven part of this microwave has also come in handy. I like to bake sometimes, but I don't always want to heat my big oven for smaller things. With this microwave, I can use the convection function to bake smaller batches. For example, I've baked brownies in it, and they came out evenly baked. The texture was nice, and I didn't have any issues with undercooked or overcooked spots. I've also used the convection setting to roast chicken. It's not a big oven, so I couldn't fit a large chicken in there but it worked for a smaller one. The chicken roasted evenly, and the skin got crispy, which is something I always look for when roasting. One of the things that make this microwave different from others I've used is the fast combi function. This feature combines the microwave, convection oven, and grill functions all at once to cook food faster. I've tested this out on a frozen pizza, and I was surprised by how well it worked. Usually, when I cook frozen pizza in a regular microwave, the crust doesn't get crispy, and the cheese might get unevenly melted. But with this microwave's fast combi function, the pizza cooked more like it would in a traditional oven. The crust got crispy, the cheese melted evenly, and the overall cooking time was shorter than if I had used a regular oven. That's something I've appreciated because it saves time, and the results are still good. Another useful feature is the cook from frozen function. I often forget to take things out of the freezer to defrost them ahead of time so I rely on this microwave to help me out in those situations. I've used this function for cooking frozen chicken breasts, and it worked quite well. The chicken cooked evenly, and it didn't dry out on the edges, which is something I've had trouble with when using other microwaves. The microwave uses a combination of convection, grill, and microwave power to get the food to the right temperature without overcooking it. I've also used this feature for frozen vegetables, and they turned out fine too. The microwave also has a smart cook, smart reheat, and smart defrost presets. These are preset functions that automatically adjust the cooking time and power based on what you're cooking, reheating, or defrosting. I've found these presets to be helpful, especially when I'm in a hurry and don't want to guess how long something should cook or defrost. The smart reheat feature, in particular, has been useful for reheating leftovers. It seems to know exactly how much time and power to use so I don't have to keep stopping the microwave to check if the food is ready. In terms of size, this microwave isn't too big or too small. It fits well on my countertop without taking up too much space, but it's still large enough to handle most of the dishes I want to cook or reheat. I think it's a good size for a medium-sized kitchen, but if you have a very small kitchen or limited counter space, you might find it a bit large. It has a 1.1 cubic feet capacity, which is enough for most tasks I've needed it for, but it's not as big as a full-sized oven, so I wouldn't rely on it for cooking large meals. Overall, I've had a good experience with the Breville Microwave Oven. It's a versatile appliance that has made cooking more convenient for me. I like that I can use it for a variety of tasks, from air frying to baking to reheating, without needing to use multiple appliances. The fast combi and cook from frozen functions have saved me time, and the power smoothing inverter helps with even heating. The smart cook, smart reheat, and smart defrost presets make it easy to use, especially when I'm in a hurry. There are a few things I think could be improved, like the need for more cleaning after using certain functions, 
but that's something I'm willing to deal with considering the versatility of the appliance. The microwave is also a bit on the larger side, so it might not be ideal for kitchens with limited space, but it works well in mine. The quiet operation and soft closed door are nice features that add to the overall experience. The Toshiba Microwave Oven is a large microwave that offers both standard microwave cooking and convection features. I've been using it for a little while now, and I've gotten the chance to try out many of its settings. It's not the smallest microwave, but that means it has room for larger items like a 12-inch pizza or even a whole chicken, which is pretty convenient for family meals or when I'm cooking for more people. I've also used it just for basic tasks like reheating leftovers, which it handles well. One of the main things I noticed is how many different features it has. I wasn't familiar with the microwave convection combo feature before, but it's useful. For example, if I want to heat something quickly but also make sure it gets a nice texture, I can use both settings at once. I've tried it with pizza, and it comes out a bit crispier than just microwaving it alone. I think this combination of features makes it versatile for different types of cooking. There are pre-programmed settings that take some of the guesswork out of cooking. For instance, there's an auto-bake menu with options for things like frozen pizza, muffins, and even french fries. There's also an auto-roast menu, which has settings for things like beef, chicken, and pork. I've tested the auto-roast with a whole chicken, and it was easy to set up. The chicken cooked well, although I had to check it a few times to make sure it was roasting evenly. The pre-programmed menus can save time when I don't want to think too much about settings, but sometimes I still prefer adjusting things manually, especially if I'm cooking something that isn't on the menu list. The sensor cooking is another feature I've been experimenting with. The microwave has a built-in sensor that adjusts the cooking time and power level based on the food's humidity. This should mean more accurate cooking without needing to set times or power levels manually. For example, when I reheat pasta, it doesn't come out overcooked or dried out like it sometimes does in other microwaves I've used. The sensor seems to help with that, though I still keep an eye on things just in case. It's a nice touch for a microwave at this size and price. The 13.6-inch turntable is large enough to hold bigger dishes, which is great for family meals. I can fit a decent-sized casserole dish or a large pizza without moving things around or switching to smaller containers. The turntable itself is removable, so it's easy to clean when things spill. Having a large microwave is useful when I'm cooking for more people or making multiple dishes, and the size of this one works well for that purpose. This microwave also comes with a mute function. I found this to be a surprisingly useful feature because I don't always want to hear the loud beeping sound when the microwave finishes cooking. To mute it, I just press and hold the number 8 on the keypad for a few seconds, and the sound is turned off. It's a small detail, but it makes a difference when I'm cooking late at night or don't want to disturb others in the house. The buzzer can be a bit loud, so being able to silence it is appreciated. The memory function is another feature I've started using more. It allows me to save my favorite cooking settings so that I don't have to enter them each time. I've found this especially helpful when reheating the same meal types. For example, I have a specific setting for reheating soups, and now I can just press a button to use it without having to enter the time and power level each time. It's not something I use every day, but it's nice to have when I'm making certain meals repeatedly. There's also a speedy cooking feature that I use for quick meals or snacks. This lets me start the microwave with just one press, and it runs for 30 seconds at full power. I can add more time by pressing the button again, which is convenient when I'm heating something small and don't need to use the full range of settings. It's pretty straightforward, and I like the simplicity of just pressing one button to start cooking. I wasn't used to using a convection oven, but I've been trying it out more recently. The microwave comes with four auto-bake menus and four auto-roast menus, and these are specifically for the convection settings. I tried baking some muffins using the auto-bake menu, and they came out fine. The cooking time was a bit longer than I expected, but the muffins were evenly cooked and had a nice texture. I think the convection feature would be useful for people who bake or roast a lot, but for everyday cooking, I still find myself using the regular microwave settings more often. Cleaning the microwave is easy enough, especially because of the stainless steel interior. The inside is made of hard-wearing materials that resist scratches and rust. This makes cleaning up after spills or splatters less of a hassle. I usually just wipe it down with a damp cloth after cooking, and that keeps it looking clean. 
The exterior is also stainless steel, so it has a modern look, and it matches other appliances in my kitchen. The stainless steel finish does show fingerprints sometimes, but they're easy to wipe away, so it's not a big deal. In terms of overall performance, the microwave has 1,000 watts of power and 10 different power settings. I usually find myself using the mid-range power levels for most meals, but it's nice to have the option to adjust if I need to. The microwave cooks quickly, and I haven't had any issues with uneven heating. Whether I'm reheating leftovers or cooking something from scratch, the food comes out evenly heated. I've also used the defrost setting a few times, which works well. I like that it has options for defrosting by time or by weight, depending on what I'm cooking. The control panel is pretty straightforward. It has a digital display that's easy to read, and the buttons are clearly labeled, so it's simple to figure out what each one does. The display is bright enough to see clearly, and I haven't had any issues with it being too dim or hard to read. The door handle is easy to grip, and the microwave opens smoothly without any problems. I also appreciate that there's a kitchen timer built into the microwave. It's a convenient feature to have, especially when I'm cooking something on the stove and need a separate timer. Overall, the Toshiba microwave oven with convection offers a lot of functionality, especially for people who need both a microwave and a convection oven in one. I like the range of features it has, from sensor cooking to the auto menus for baking and roasting. The large capacity and removable turntable are great for cooking bigger meals, and the mute function is a nice touch for those who don't want to hear the loud beeping sound. While I don't use the convection feature as often as the microwave settings, it's nice to have the option when I need it. The stainless steel interior is easy to clean, and the eco mode helps save on energy usage. Overall, it's been a solid addition to my kitchen. When I first got the Panasonic microwave, the thing that immediately stood out to me was how sleek it looked. It's made of stainless steel, which gives it a modern feel, but it's not too flashy. It fits in with other kitchen appliances easily. I think the design is simple and functional, which is important. It doesn't scream for attention, but it also doesn't look outdated. One thing that I appreciated right away is that, even though the microwave is quite spacious inside, 2.2 cubic feet, it doesn't take up too much room on the countertop. I live in an apartment, so counter space is a big deal. The microwave has a thinner design, which helps it fit better in smaller kitchens while still giving you enough room inside for larger dishes. The turntable inside is 16.5 inches, which is pretty large, so you can easily fit bigger plates or casserole dishes. This is a major plus because I've had microwaves in the past where you had to shift things around just to make them fit. Another thing I noticed is the control panel. It's an LED display with a touchpad, and it's fairly easy to navigate. There are 20 preset menu options, which we'll get into later, but overall, the controls are clear. The only downside, in my opinion, is that the buttons could be more responsive. Sometimes I need to press a bit harder to get the settings I want. It's not a huge issue, but it's something I noticed. Installation and setup. Setting up this microwave was pretty easy. Since it's a countertop model, you don't need to do much except take it out of the box and find a spot for it. The microwave is a bit heavy, but that's expected for its size. It's just something to keep in mind if you're planning to move it by yourself. Once I had it on the counter, it was just a matter of plugging it in. The power requirements are pretty standard for a microwave. 120V, 60 Hz, 12.7A, and 1480W. I didn't need any special outlets or anything like that. It's worth mentioning that the microwave also has the option to be built in if you prefer. I kept mine as a countertop model, but if you're looking for something more permanent, it's nice that this option exists. Cooking power and performance. Now on to the most important part, how this microwave works. Panasonic advertises this model as having 1250 watts of power, which is on the higher end for home microwaves. I've noticed the difference in how fast it heats things compared to my old microwave. Simple tasks like reheating leftovers take less time, and food seems to come out more evenly heated. The microwave uses something called cyclonic inverter technology. I wasn't familiar with this before using the microwave, but basically, it's a system that circulates the heat more evenly. Traditional microwaves tend to pulse the heat on and off, but the cyclonic inverter keeps the heat constant. In practice, this means that your food heats more evenly without the cold spots or overcooked edges you might get with other microwaves. 
I've noticed that with things like soup or pasta, which often end up uneven in older models, the inverter also helps with defrosting. I tend to forget to take things out of the freezer ahead of time, so I rely on the microwave to defrost things quickly. The turbo defrost feature works faster than any microwave I've had in the past. What's even better is that the food doesn't start to cook around the edges while the inside is still frozen. It's a pretty efficient system, especially if you're like me and always forget to defrost things in advance. Genius Sensor Cooking One of the standout features of this microwave is the Genius Sensor. The idea is that the microwave can automatically adjust the power level and cooking time based on the steam that's coming from your food. I've used this feature quite a bit, and for the most part, it works well. It's especially helpful for reheating things like leftovers or making simple meals where you don't want to fuss with specific settings. For example, when I reheat pizza, the microwave somehow knows how to get it just right without turning the crust into a chewy mess. I don't know exactly how it calculates the time, but the results are usually spot on. There are times when I think it could be a bit faster, but I'd rather have it heat more evenly than rush through and end up with uneven spots. There are 20 preset menu items, which cover a range of common foods like popcorn, potatoes, vegetables, and even oatmeal. I've tried out a few of these settings, and they work as expected. Popcorn, for instance, comes out pretty much perfect every time. I haven't had any burnt pieces or unpopped kernels. The sensor cooking isn't perfect, though. Sometimes, when I'm cooking something less common, like reheating a homemade casserole, I find that I still need to adjust the time manually. But for most everyday items, the sensor does its job well. Keep warm feature. Another feature I've used more than I expected is the keep warm function. I like to prepare meals in advance sometimes, and this microwave lets me keep things like soups or sauces warm without cooking them further. I usually make gravy ahead of time when I'm hosting dinner, and instead of leaving it on the stove to stay warm, I just pop it in the microwave. It's a nice touch, and it works as advertised. The food stays warm without drying out, which is something that happens with my stovetop method. This feature is especially helpful if you're juggling multiple dishes at once and need to keep things warm while you finish up. Cooking from scratch. While I mostly use the microwave for reheating or quick meals, I've also tried cooking a few things from scratch. The microwave does a good job with things like steaming vegetables or cooking fish. The combination of the cyclonic wave and inverter technology shines here. Vegetables come out tender without turning to mush, and fish stays moist without drying out. I don't usually think of microwaves as tools for actual cooking, but this one has changed my mind a bit. One thing I've noticed is that it's great for delicate foods. I've used it to poach eggs and simmer sauces, and both turned out pretty well. The heat is controlled enough that these delicate items don't get overcooked. I still prefer using the stovetop for more involved recipes, but if I'm in a rush or just need to prepare something simple, the microwave does a solid job. Cleaning and maintenance. Cleaning this microwave is fairly straightforward. The stainless steel exterior is easy to wipe down, and the interior doesn't seem to get as messy as quickly as some other microwaves I've had. The turntable is removable, so if there are any spills or splatters, it's easy to take it out and wash it separately. I've found that food doesn't seem to get baked onto the sides as much, which might have something to do with the heating. In any case, it's been pretty low maintenance in terms of cleaning. One thing that could be improved is the touchpad. Since it's a flat surface, it does tend to pick up fingerprints easily. It's not a huge deal, but I find myself wiping it down often just to keep it things I didn't like. While there's a lot to like about the Panasonic, it's not perfect. One minor issue I've had is with the touchpad responsiveness. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes I need to press a bit harder than expected to select a setting. It's not something that affects the overall functionality, but it can be a little annoying when you're trying to set the microwave quickly. Another thing is the sound. The microwave has a fairly loud beep when it finishes cooking. It's not unbearable, but if you're sensitive to noise or use the microwave late at night, it could be a bit bothersome. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to turn off or adjust the volume of the beep. Energy efficiency. One thing I was curious about when I first got this microwave was its energy usage. At 1250 watts, it's a powerful microwave, but I didn't want it to drive up my electricity bill. After a few months of use, I haven't noticed a significant change in energy costs. The inverter technology supposedly helps with energy efficiency, 
by delivering consistent power instead of the on and off cycling of traditional microwaves. While I can't say how much of a difference it's making, it doesn't seem to consume more energy than any other microwave I've used. Final thoughts. Overall, the Panasonic has been a solid addition to my kitchen. It's fast, efficient, and handles everyday tasks like reheating and defrosting really well. The Cyclonic Inverter technology is a game changer for even heating, and the Genius sensor takes the guesswork out of cooking. While there are a few minor drawbacks, like the touchpad responsiveness and the loud beeping, they're not deal breakers for me. If you're looking for a microwave that can handle everything from reheating leftovers to cooking full meals, I think the Panasonic is a great option. It's versatile, easy to use, and has enough features to make it stand out from other models. Whether you're cooking for yourself or a family, this microwave can handle pretty much anything you throw at it.